All right, trailing arm bushings, Hacker Integra. <coughs> this is the bushing here from Energy Suspension, part number 16.7106G. Uh, this is what the bushing looks like here. I already got the other one semi-installed. Um, it's... Uh, it's an easy install it just takes a little bit of time um, I'd say the hardest part really honestly is just getting all of this rubber pieces um, off of the bone um, because you're gonna have to reuse this bone here or this metal piece and then here's the other side this is what it looks like um, I actually got all of the rubber off of it and then I painted it let me see so this is what it looks like. I left the middle um, unpainted because that's going to be hiding inside the uh, the uh, bushing here. See, so it would go inside here, right, all the way through, right. So about like that, okay, and it would go back in. So yes, this is my trailing arm bushing. It is uh, this side is deteriorating. The other side was a lot worse. It was actually pretty much um, cut off at the bottom. But yeah, um, and let me see, down here, um, let's get a better view. There's a couple bolts you need to take off, uh, this one here, this one here, and then you, you, you have a couple ways of doing this. You can take it off of here, this is your toe adjustment, but if you take it off, you're going to have to do an alignment, okay? Um, there's also another bolt on this side, you can either take off this bolt, and then take these two off and then drop it so that this bolt will come out. Um, you can't take it out from right here because it's gonna be hitting this, uh, this it's gonna be, is that better? So there's a bolt right here. It's gonna be hitting this wall right here so you won't be able to take the bolt out. That's why uh, in that case you would take these two out and this would drop a little bit and then this, this will come down and you'll have clearance to take it out. Um, but I opted to go and take this off because it's gonna be a lot easier for me to torque down. And um, just leave like a little witness mark or take a picture of where it's at or um, like what I did on the other side, I took a fine tip uh, Sharpie and I just made a mark on the bolt, on the, um, the round part so that I know where to put it back when I install it. Okay, but yeah, that's the install right there. I'm gonna install, finish installing the other side and then I'll show you the process of um, taking this um, rubber out and uh, installing the new bushing. Okay, so a few bolts we're gonna take out. Uh, one, two, three, and probably should take off this uh, e-brake handle cable um, so you're not tugging on it while you're working on this while this drops so just release this and let it hang and then another bolt up here actually your control arm our bolt you can either go with this bolt or the two in the back um, I've seen people do these two um, I've seen people do this but I on the other side I went with this side so and be sure to um, jack up the lower control arm so that this is holding everything is going to drop okay so let's take this out but um jack up the lower control arm okay up top like i said either these two or this so i'm gonna go with this one for me i got to have this should have done that in the first place the cable bolt right here so i'm gonna take that out move that out the way temporarily so we don't Damage it. Okay, move that. We'll put the bolt back so I don't misplace it. Okay, so let it hang. Okay, fine tip marker. So, like I said, let me see. Just leave a mark right there, and then mount one on top like so okay I left two marks one on the top one on the bottom Ow. Uh, this 
is a 14. Take it out. Okay. There's the bolt there. Keep that in a safe place. And you will see. See closely. The little. Oh, there you go. Oh. The mark that I left there. See that? So you know where to put it back when you reinstall it. Let's go ahead and get these bolts out. So here we are in the front. Okay. We still don't have enough room. It's because we have the lower control arm jacked up. So once we uh, start to lower this down, let me see. Not too fast, like I did. Let's go slow. Okay. See, and then if you pull down, oh look, the top of my uh, mount is broke. I didn't even see that. That's correct. Almost all the way through. Okay. So I put a piece of block here to wedge it, so it'll hold in position while I work on it. Now, this is uh, like I said. This is the part. Um, that takes the longest um, because we have to reuse this so we have to cut it off somehow however you do it just get it out and then we have to reuse this sleeve um, I don't have the tool to take out the trailing arm so um, you know that's not an option for me um, but what I'm gonna do is uh, probably drill out these holes I mean drill out a hole here with a drill bit a big one and then uh, this will come off um, and then I'm gonna have to do a bunch of little holes around the side here to get most of this um, rubber out and then uh, probably hit it with the torch and try the try to burn the rest of it out okay like I said let's get these out however you do it just get this rubber out somehow okay so this is my way this is how I did it um, if you have an easier way uh, let me know. Drop it in the comment. That way I know next time. Okay. Oh, note the, uh, the position. Okay, look. The um, round hole versus the uh, oval hole okay round hole goes inside okay the oval hole goes to the outside okay so remember that okay so I drilled a bunch of holes here um, I was trying to get a wedge and try to wedge it out but I think I'm gonna torch it down a little bit so Get yourself a torch. We're gonna torch it here and here. Let's see what we can do with that. Um, but be sure to have a uh, garden hose ready, you know, just in case, because you are messing with fire. I do have a little bucket right here, a little oil pan um, that I cleaned out and put water in there because all of this plastic stuff is gonna fall onto the ground. And I do have cardboard under here, so I don't want anything to catch fire, okay? So, and wear goggles. Be safe. Be safe out there. A bunch of uh, rubber that we need to burn off so either cut it off or burn it off however you do it just let's get it out and then we start to clean up the sleeve in preparation for the uh, new rubber bushing yeah it's getting cleaner just keep going like I said it takes a little bit of time so this is the longest part 
there. Nice and clean there. Make sure there's no rubber pieces in there. Yeah, looks good, okay. So after you get that done, you're gonna have to do the uh, dog bone or the uh, little metal piece here. So we still have this guy. We need to burn all this off or cut it off and get it off. Just whatever you do, get it off. Be careful when handling sharp objects. Okay, let's get all the rubber off of there as much as you can. Yeah, looks good. Um, actually, you know, I'm gonna paint this like I did to the other side so they match, okay? Okay, here it is Freshly painted right There I left the middle unpainted so I can put that in the um, Bushing so we're gonna install the bushing next So get your bushing here. We're gonna apply some silicone grease on the outside so that's It'd be a lot easier to press it in. So make sure you have enough on there. Nice even coat. Okay. From here, you get one side in first, like so. Okay. You try to press it in as much as you can. And then give yourself a little help. <coughs> like so, press, push it in. Pressed in, no tools, just a little bit of muscle in your foot or whatever. Got some sweat in my eye, but yeah, that was it. Now let's clean it up. The excess grease on both sides. And uh, let's get the uh, metal piece inside. Position it in. Let's see. Uh, let's see. The next step is let's go ahead and raise the uh, lower control arm and connect these two back together so that everything is straight. Okay. Go ahead and get your control arm bolt in. that later. Let's go back down under. Okay. Let's get this uh, uh, bolt. Don't tie it all the way in yet because we're going to have to um, position it in the spot. Remember those marks that we left? I left? We got to position that. There it is. Right there. I don't know if you can see that but I'm almost there. So let's line it up together and just tying it to where the uh, the marks that you left. I think right there is perfect. Okay, just get that tight. It's right on the money. There it is. That is perfect. I don't know if the camera would pick that up. Let's see, get this out the way. 
Yeah, but it's right on the line. It's perfect. Okay. Hey, 47 pounds. Okay, we're good there. Seven and forty seven. Okay, now go ahead and put your e brake bolt or cable line right here. Put this back. Let's get that on tight. Control arm bolt that we need to torque down, okay. But we got to put a load on the lower control arm because you don't want to tighten it down like this. You rather have it as if um, you want load on it as if um, the car was on the ground. So the bushing right here is going to go up. Then you're going to tighten it right there. So I got the lower control arm jacked up. We're going to tighten this bolt 40 pounds. Okay. That's it, that was the last bolt right there. Uh, let's see, let's check how it work. So that's done. Let's see, we did. Let's see, we did that bolt, we tightened that up. We did these two, we did this. Okay, yeah, so that's the end result there. It's pretty clean. Um, can't test drive yet, still got other things to do. But yeah, that is my install for the energy suspension rear trailing arm bushing so okay <clears throat> so hopefully you guys like it as usual at the end of these videos uh, we say comment like and subscribe so if you hadn't done so please do so that'll let me know that you guys like the content that I'm putting out and hopefully you know the stuff that I'm putting out is, is used for information and hopefully it helps uh, somebody whoever's gonna do it these uh, installs that I do so yep that is the end result there thank you so much for watching and um, catch you in the next install whenever that may be so cool thanks peace out